Get him? Yep. Drop like a stone. Second day to hunt. About 250 yards. Rainy. That last one dropped him? Dropped him. You hit him right in the backbone. Rainy and we got... The first time? I think he shot right over the top of him the first time. Because he never flinched or nothing. There's about 15 to 20. You hit him both this far down. We saw him from about three miles away. A wide spread, a lot of points. You can see all these. They're just now starting. Mill around. Those are all cows. They gotta be standing right on top of me. Eh? I'm not so sure you hit him the first time. It didn't seem like he reacted. No. But we'll know as soon as we put the knife to him. I'm dead on at 200, 250 if I dropped three inches. Yeah. Oh, and I wouldn't, you know, at that distance, I would have put held it right where you normally do. I wouldn't have aimed any higher. I thought I'm smaller there. All right, Clayton. Let's go see what he got. Have a camper. Now it gets tougher because we got to. <laughs> now it gets tougher. <laughs> now we got to the alternate weapon. 250 yard shots at the ball. <laughs> <laughs> but they're moving, so. Stuff the bowl in there. It's not cold, it's just a little drizzly. You can see them right over Bob's He's shoulder here. Pardon me? These carbons are aluminum. Aluminum. I've always used aluminums, but... Uh, I bought carbons just for this hunt. Okay. They're about 300 yards from us. They're nice. They're flat shooting. They go like a rocket. This year I got heavier aluminums for... Penetration, yeah. I've always shot... Yeah, bear, like, only shooting. Yeah. I started shooting bull when I was like 16. And I was up. Bus. I so, there. so then I, when I went up to aluminum from 